Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Dead Dreams. Previously, we completed Chapter 1, where we were left with a bunch of questions and no answers. Project Secret Santa? I know we're not supposed to ask for advice, but I really need it. Okay. What should we buy for Azure? She's into journalism, right? Yeah, but like the ones who write about traveling in cool places. Do you mean travel journalism? Right. So you got an idea? You know she's going to take a gap year and volunteer. How about... Tilt shift camera lens? Alright, Jade. I know she wants to become an architect, but does she have some other hobbies here? The colors, see him? Because I have no idea what to buy for her. I have a list for the occasion. Apparently she knew she would find herself stuck. Did we show her herself? Didn't she get the word secret? You know, Jade. I guess she just didn't want to cause us too many troubles. Yeah, okay. It's on the list. A trip to Columbus, Indiana. I think it's a town nearby famous for its architecture and public art. Lego Architecture Studio. Yeah, it's not a toy. Architects actually use it. Bathrobe has something to do with architecture. They just love certain comfy bathrobes. So, you choose. Trip to Columbus. Hey, wait, what? You check the pockets of your old coat. The pills are still in place. Glass of water. Your first pill. Take more. Just keep going. All right, stop. Hmm. A little bag of golden pills. May. April, June, October. Sounds like you're trying to prepare for a puzzle there, game. Is this? Okay, wait. I'm trying to think if this is the recreation of the PT hallway. Not, not like exactly, but just like. Oh, the radio on the table in the middle of it kind of thing makes you kind of think, Hey, PT. Three pieces are missing. You found piece D. Found piece B. I think this is a reference to the PT hallway. It's a good son, and loving husband. It's me had it all a big house and a beautiful wife. I paid job and wealthy parents. His news disturbed his content. Antonius being that he was born in his head. Don't you try a voice act on me. Huh? Wait, what? Where are you? Turn up the radio. Come closer. Closer. No. What up? Don't look at me like that. I look where I want, radio. You can't command me around. You think you're a transformer? So, you got rid of the pills, huh? I mean, what's wrong with you? Anyways... I should buy some more. I do think it's a little interesting how they're using selective voice acting. No. We both know you'll never tell her the truth. You're not real. I am boy real.
Hey. Uh oh. I took damage for something unseen. Don't start talking to me again, radio. Don't tell her. This is an interesting game. I'm gonna I'm say, because it has this. Well. Turn off the flashlight. No. No. Run, run. Keep running. Nice, PC. Cause it has this, it's got this like little low budget look, okay? We pause the game. Okay, it's got this little low budget look. You, if you were like going around on Steam, you look at this like it looks pretty low budget, low, low effort. But then you kind of get into it, and even the character portraits are a little, kind of simple and quirky. And then it's like, wait a minute, there's actually quite a bit of effort put into it. Um, and I think part of it's purposeful. It's it's going for a certain atmosphere. I think, uh, enough. Free me. Piece A. It's all pieces. Hey, there's a tree. You weren't there before, were you? I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. It's the stages of, uh... But I can't truly see the stages without putting them up. Okay. A... Piece D should be the first one. And piece B is number two. Piece A is three. Yes. Yeah. It's all good. Ah, uh, my head. Was that a dream? Where am I? There ain't no such thing as dreams here. It's all real. Hello? Is everything okay? Wait, what? Hello? Is anybody here? Bear trap. Huh, it's not the first time. I'm a little curious. Plus, I'm starting to walk slow, like it's gonna be some kind of mechanic. 
Hey, wait a minute. Did something hit the bear trap? Was it right before flood? Yeah, let's ignore it. Hello, are you okay there? Hopefully it gets trapped in bird traps too. Um, oh crap. Oh crap. I don't know where to run to. I was probably supposed to like trap it then run around it. Come on, you bastard. Come and get me. I'm a scared. It's still trapped. Go! Got health. Keep going, the music's still weird. Do I go in? It's doomed! Why is there toilets? <coughs> Who's there? Piano. Who are you? Sai. Didn't mean to scare you. You look pretty scary to me. Who did this to you? I don't remember. I don't even know how I got here. Yeah, never do I. Alright, let's think. There are no windows, so we're probably in some kind of underground facility. Stillwater Asylum. What? I said we're in Stillwater Asylum. I heard that, but how? Was it closed? How do you know that anyway? Are you one of the patients? I hope not. Are you? I don't think so. Even though that would be explain some things. Okay, leave the panic. We'll find the way out. Right? Sure. I'll stay here. Huh? I do remember one thing. Well, it's a place in downtown. A music shop. The boardwalk something. The board which boardwalk vintage music shop on Orchid Lane. Have you been there? I used to go there when I was still in school. And they had these bizarre instruments inside. Right. I wonder if they're still open. They are. I said my way to work. So were you there when they caught you? I don't know. Maybe. But I didn't visit the boardwalk since high school. I doubt there's with any connection. Yeah. You're probably right. They're the same people. One and the same. Jam closed. Weird. Really weird. Oh, save points. That's how this works, huh? So it's the, I guess only the cold opening has no save points. back. At least the, the music stopped. That was starting to get a little annoying. No! No, there's a bunch of them! Bear 
traps. <laughs> Closed. Jammed. Everything's so useless in here. Health pack, I don't need it. That's where I came from, I think, anyway. Mysteriously empty room. Morgue. Useless? Uh, uh This looks kind of familiar in a weird way. Oh. Seems to be like a, a fetus symbolism of him. Uh, trap? A little weird. 4 7. Nefros Project's administration was initially created by a man called Dr. L. After his death, it was divided between Dr. Miyamoto, Dr. L's daughter, and Dr. Adam, representative of MLA. Someone tried to break through the Frontier's firewall. And rearrange certain data. It looked like an attack from one of the gems. Gems? Crystal gems? Since then, Project Bifrost team has fractured two very different groups. Uh, there's a face here. Let's not walk on it. First one. Exclusionist, but Dr. Adam argues that the integration of alien consciousness is harmful and shifts systems' priorities not towards increasing the quality of sessions, but... I'm not sure what this map is. But lowering the past norms which reflects in recent success rates? The exclusionist insists that the systems can be completed only by extraordinary individuals approved by a special committee. There's gonna be, there's gonna be some twists to this plot. I don't know what kind. Ah. The inclusionists, on the other hand, inclined towards Miyamoto's self-learning through the integration theory. They claim that the amount of new viewpoints provided by even filled patients increases Jem's empathy, which is fundamental to constructing deeply personalized narratives. So while the exclusionists want their system to be led by exceptional personalities, the inclusionists are more than willing to embrace Jem's transformation into a new unifying being to the point that it might present a real threat to the IRS's mainland authorities. Huh? Uh, it's that worm thing! No! Yeah, that's right. No! Oh, got those teeth! Those teeth! I'm dying, squirrel. What? There's everything here! It's- I'm dead! I'm dead! Just- Just go through. I supposed to survive this. What I do? Uh. Ah, my brain. Uh. 
Um. Good morning. So how's it going? Do you repair your speech already? What speech? The one has told you? Then I have good news for you. There are rumors about you getting a raise. So if you don't want to disappoint your father, get your ass to the meeting. Wait. Isn't it 11 a.m.? They changed at 9.30. What? Why did anyone warn me? I called you last evening. Carol picked up the phone. Okay, see you there. Baby. Honey? Today could be a really important day for me. For us. I'll do the examination at the end of the week. Do as you wish. Don't touch me. You still want this, right? Of course I do. You have to know for sure. If it's not because of me... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're probably right. I'll go. Thank you. Uh... Okay. Patient 7, named Jack. Data Death Secret, backup number Y212. Hmm. It's a noise. No, forget that. Forget that. We ain't dealing with that. Here we go again. Oof. The Ralph pack I don't need. Found gloves. <laughs> I don't see anything, but I heard, like, scary noises. This game just likes messing with you, doesn't it? Computer. Hey! Hey! Card A. Don't you jump scare me! So was there anything else here then? This is new. Kinda... Worrisome too. The corpse party bathroom. Hey! Hey! It's me! Looks like there's something inside. Uh, why? Why? Uh. There's card B. We're good. Do you see all the documents? Don't worry. Please lie down. What are the chances I could be sick? Why would you want the statistics when we can just check this out? Alright. Is a long procedure? That depends. First of all, you better calm down. Is it always so empty here? No, but today is a special day. The clinic is in our full position. Wait, what? Is that my phone? What does it say? Is it Carol? Why didn't you answer? No. Oh. What's that? I thought you were simply going to scan me. Change of plans. I... I don't understand. I just remember that... Don't be silly. You're not going anywhere. Let me out. Sorry. It's too late. What... What do you want from me? Money? Feeling sleepy already. This can't be... Next time, go to the meeting and not the examination. Uh, 
Maybe each character is going to go for their own little thing. That's going to be each chapter. Okay, let's go. Thank you for the health pack. I got hit her again into the mare anyways. Save my game, save my game. So now we have both key cards. We'll go back and free the person who should not be freed, who may or may not be a representation of us. Hello, person. Are you friendly? God, no, they aren't. Hey. <laughs> no, no. I think that's enough. You should be home with Carol. Didn't she call you? Oh no. Maybe. I turned off the phone. How are you two doing together? Wonderful. This is wonderful. Liam, listen. We barely talked for like a month. Why did you even call me? I don't like to drink alone. Is there something you want to tell me? No! Okay, I tried. I think I should go now. Come on, one more drink. I don't have time for this. Alright, alright. Just sit down, okay? So... Carol wants me mother, but we can't quite pull it off because of me. I see. That's where you're going to this examination thing? Yes, but it won't show anything. Because I'm not sure if I want to have a child. But how does that affect the process? That's the worst part. Here, I keep it in my pocket. Aspirin? Why isn't it fizzing? Liam, what is that? A contraceptive. I'm adding it to her breakfast. Mmm. I knew I shouldn't have told you that. No, no, that's okay. I mean, it's fucked up, but... So, you're not happy with Carol? It's not just about her. Then what is it? Jacob, do you like your job? Do I like it? I don't know. I would say I'm satisfied. At least it's well paid. Then you won't understand me. Think about it. Our job is to make rich bastards even richer. Yes, but someone has to do it, right? And what are the alternatives anyway? To become a bartender? So you think that's too late for me? Too late for what? Forget it. You're overthinking it. You have a big house, a beautiful wife, a high-paid job, and wealthy parents. In other words, a perfect life. Learn to appreciate what you already have. Okay, do you want to know my secret? Go ahead. I like anime. Here. Forbidden fruit. Makes you see rainbows. Is that some kind of drug? It's like a weed. Helps you relax and stuff. And Molly? Don't worry, it's totally safe. So what do you think? Nah. Drugs aren't my thing. And alcohol is? I'll figure it out. Alright, that's your choice. Come on, let's get out of here. I give her the pills, alright? Sure. My old house. Am I still dreaming? It's jammed. Blood? There's something inside. Huh. Can't open it. Wait! Hey! Yeah, he left there. I'm like, uh uh. Look inside. Fuck.
we need something else to go with the hook. Let's go back for this door over here. This is that garden hub that our other character was at. It's kind of the, uh, kind of like a red lodge. I hate when it zooms in because I know something's going to go down. There's nothing inside. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Here. Bye, buddy. Please don't let this be a dead end. I kind of forgot the way. It's pretty well done. The story's a little confusing right now, but it's pretty well executed. Here, hook. Gold key, great. Now where are we? Sometimes I just hear those distant screams. Screams, for real? Maybe they come from the basement or something. That's a thing. We don't have any basement. Holy crap. What if it's a ghost? A ghost? Yeah, sure. Do you have any explanations? Maybe she's right. You told me about an old mirror your parents bought two weeks ago. So? Ghosts are often trapped by mirrors. And how did your friend get rid of it? They burned down the whole house with it. It's from another game, Grotesque Beauty. It was a present for my mother's birthday. Just can't smash the free ghost. I'm down, I'm kidding. You just chant a spell. Basically let it leave the mirror. Oh, that sounds smart. Okay, and how do I do that? The dark? No! Forget about it, I'm not doing that. We'll do it together. Yeah, it'll be cool. But we do like a lot of dumb stuff, don't we? Bloody Mary. Doing dumb stuff right now. Bloody Mary. Joke's on you, you think I'm gonna say it three times in a row? Pure screen, so they can count as reflections. I ain't stupid. Hey. Who? Notes. Name music, Aaron program, Audrey visuals. Huh? This is an Easter egg for the developers? Hey, don't deal with no Bloody Mary! I saw you there. I ain't going back to visit. You ain't getting no Christmas cards. Remember, fish with a womb, king of the jungle, Taurus. Huh. Close the passage. We saw a bear over there, right? I guess it wasn't a bear, it was a lion. Dolphin. Lion. Bull. Wait, there's more to it.
You're not a dolphin. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I don't understand the point of that yet. Let's go back to the lion. No! Blade Mary's right there! I'm not going out there! Am I just like plow through her and tank the hit? No, I managed to like reset her. Thankfully. Whoa. Three lions, one bull. The dolphin says. Open the door. Simply pills up a scrub and antidepressants. The dolphin says. I don't really get the point of the characters, so. Woo, woo, woo. Like Pac-Man, she doesn't really truly care about me. <laughs> ah, it was lion three times when you get to lion. That's it. Five seven. Dreamland therapy roots power hypergarden control or subgarden conscious. Frontier is what gives Iris and this is trippy. Emily including Bifrost team's control over gems. Frontier was initially designed to keep non-gem conscious from self-destructing. It didn't work though, but when an unusual activity between gems have been recorded, Frontier helped us to limit interactions between them in the lab system. Only later we understood that gems' behavior wasn't about self-destruction, but self-reconstruction. Reconstruction is something bigger, a mind with no boundaries. Gems gave us a solution to the energy problem. Instead of building a new power plant, we connected Bifrost Lab to the cable system and conveniently hit underground. That's how Roots was created. So they created a... Okay, we take it literal, they create an energy just out of our own suffering. We got plenty of that to go around. Energy crisis solved. Subgarden is where gems reside. Hypergarden is not... is a knot that links all parts of the system. In the exclusionist scheme, only recently renovated frontiers access to Hypergarden. However, the inclusionists argue that Subgarden should have the full control of Hypergarden. In their view, Frontier and the whole Bifrost staff should eventually take the role of communication between gems of society. Phonophobia is the fear of aversion and loud sounds. Does it see me? What's that? Honk honk? It's here. What are we doing that it's here thing again? Um. Eve. Ponical. <coughs> Ow! No, that's what. Bugged out. I'm dying. Into the code. X erase. What kind of puzzle is this? Aya. First letters Viola. The ones with eyes, maybe? K. 
Kara. Aya. It, unless you have to fill out the entire thing. Well, it's not Aya. Kara? It was Kara? Play. You gain the sword of truth. Look at the clankins. The faces don't appear anymore. Hey! I don't like that. Every time that freaks me out. In like a very subtle way. Stab it. Yep. What are you? That's enough. I'm working day and night, and what do I get? I'll fix. I'll fix everything. Oh, indeed you will. And I'm going to help you with that. Don't. Do from now on, you're banned from using the computer on your phone. But how will I talk to? You won't. But tomorrow's. No, he'll stay here and stay until I see results. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, and something else. After the holidays, you're going to a new school. Just do me in, sword. I think this is equivalent of like a boss fight. It's something to do with the sound. Oh, I need to get in front of the uh, speakers, maybe. Getting a little faster. Is it dead? Nope, it's really fast. Mister, 
Do you hear me? Mister. <laughs> the sprite of Jage is still there. Mister, do you hear me? Where am I? Sweetwater Hospital. You've got overdose. We've almost lost you. And you had this on you. A VR headset? I had an appointment with Dr. Harlow. Oh. What? I'm afraid Dr. Harlow died. Died? When? Yesterday. Then who drugged me? She was saying it wasn't you. What? No, of course not. Why would I drug myself? Alright, you explain it to the authorities. Can I make a call? Sure. It's personal. I can't leave you alone. I have to call my wife. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. Thanks. Hello, Dad. Where the hell are you? I was calling. I won't come. What? Let's come out a joke. Get your ass here immediately. Liam, did you hear me? If you don't show up at the meeting now... I'm quitting. And I don't need your promotion. Huh. You can't quit. I can, because I would decide so. You don't want me to help you? Fine. But let me remind you that you're a loving wife, a big house, and decent living. You achieved all of it thanks to me. I never asked for help. Especially not to become a finance manager. Then who would you become? A composer? Ridiculous. Alright. I think... I think you're just tired. It will pass. I'll give you a few days off. Just after the meeting. I'm fine. You know, when I was in high school... I'm not you. So you think you're better than me? Do you believe Carol will stay with you after you ruin your career to pursue these stupid dreams of yours? She'll understand. And who'll pay for the house? How do you get to take care of the children? I can't bear it. It's not about you, it's about family. There's ways to ease the pain. Ways to ease the pain, that's how you call it. What are you talking about? You said all you did was for the family. But imagine what it was like for us, knowing about your secrets. Is that why Mother left you? Shut up, you have no idea what you're talking about. You're, you're just a boy. An ungrateful, wicked boy. Goodbye, Dad. Wait, you're making a big mistake. If you leave now... Oh, no. I don't know, I'm not sure why the sprite change is permanent. It's gonna help me for the rest of the game. <laughs> Every cutscene, too. Oh well. It's weirdly fitting in a weird way. That's supposed to be represent the dad and Carol. You can go now. The sprite's been fixed. We're free. Hey, wait a minute. There's a hole. And there's an exit. Hmm.